Katrina Latrice Williams, and I wanted to come to you all today about some relationship advice. Me, myself, for a very long time, I was someone that was an independent, successful, single lady, and I used to intimidate men a lot. I never understood it, but I realized that I can help those individuals that are currently single and they're looking for someone to settle down with but they just don't know how to let go see that was my issue I didn't know how to let go and let God I was so wrapped up on protecting my heart my feelings and not letting people use me to the point to where I was attracting more of the same type of person in my life you ever realize that you was dating different people, but it seemed like it was the same person? They just had different names? Well, a lot of that comes from fear in your heart. Because you are resonating, you're vibrating so much fear to where you attract those around you that feel the same way, that think the same way. You are what you think about. You are who you hang around. So, one thing that really helped me to open up to love, to receive love, and to give love to where I became married and happy and understand that no one is perfect, not even myself, is when I started putting God first. I started praying more because I didn't understand. I was protecting my heart for so many years, but for whatever reason, I still ended up with the same type of guy. And I know I was a good woman. I knew that God know my heart and he know my heart is good. But I needed a renewed heart and a, new, a renewed spirit. I needed to let go and let God. I needed to stop worrying about the wrong thing and start thinking about the right thing. And shout out to my hubby. He definitely helped me with that. Stop thinking about the wrong things and focus on the right things. And because we have been so open to communication and accepting each other for who we are, our relationship gets stronger by the days. He's not perfect. I'm not perfect. Our relationship is not perfect. But we strive for perfection. And we communicate about the things that bothers us. Instead of Keeping it bottled in, which a lot of people do. They hold things inside because they don't want to bother the next person or they don't want to tell the next person what's going on because they may fear that they will look down on them or, you know, that judgment thing. You got to let go. Because, see, nobody's perfect. They're not even perfect. The ones that you worried about, they're not perfect. They're trying to figure it out themselves. So it's definitely very, very important that you have communication, you have trust, you have understanding, understanding, and overstanding. That you are willing to have patience with each other and recognize the things that you separate on. Whatever it is that becomes a complication... That's what you need to talk about. Let go of the fear. Let go of the things that's holding you down so that you can feel better and open up the truth. So it, it will set you free. But you have to be willing to let the truth come out. If you're not willing to let the truth come out, it can't be partial truth. It can't be a third of the truth. It has to be the full truth. Will it hurt? It will hurt some, but I promise you over time, it will heal and be so much better versus you uh, holding it in for many of years and it becoming bigger to the point to where it explodes and you hurt a lot of people that you didn't mean to hurt, if you know what I mean, if you haven't already experienced that. So, my relationship advice today is to love one another communicate with one another, understand one another. But the main thing is communication. Because without communication, you don't have anything else. You, you can't grow to love one another. You can't grow to learn one another. And you can't work anything out because you don't communicate. So for those of you that's very, very stubborn, stop it. Pray for clarity. Pray for understanding. Pray for wisdom. Put God first.
and let everything else flow. That is my relationship advice for you today. Live, love, and laugh. And remember, no regrets.